Welcome, gamers. In the grim, dark future, there is only gender equality. All right, let's get into this. It's been a little bit since we played Warhammer Bolt Gun. Let's just... Where are we? There's no truth in flesh. People, sh people should learn about that. It doesn't matter about your gender because there's no truth in flesh. This is live love and probability. We are doing this. We're ridding the forces of chaos in the name of the Empress. Where am I? I don't remember anything that's going on. So yes, the big news. Whoa! Nervo Curta Coldus. My goodness. How's how's the volume? How's the levels? How's everyone? I don't know where I'm going. What is going on, Smith? I have no idea. So, oh, so there was some pretty big news in the Warhammer universe this week, and I am very excited to get your all of your thoughts about this. Nice. That worked out very well. Stop. 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 Yes, I forgot that button. Let's see. Just going over the uh, mechanics. That's a grenade. That's that. Oh, I didn't know I had a charge. Neat. So yes, it turns out this week's game Games Workshop, the people behind Warhammer 40k, uh, you know, known for its very progressive, uh, optimistic stance on life, has made a change to the lore of Warhammer. So if you aren't too familiar with Lore Hammer War, I can't talk and game at the same time, which is a very difficult, which is a problem. So if you're not familiar, uh, you know, I'm sure people can give, you know, 10 hour long dissertations about Warhammer lore, but basically, you know, in the 41st century, there is constant warfare. Humanity is under the control of a semi-religious totalitarian regime run by the Emperor of Mankind, more or less. He might be kind of a zombie at this point in the thing. But, ooh. New weapon? Whoa! Boss fight? Oh, it's a great unclean one. Here. Hey. What is happening? And so the forces of the Emperor are the Space Marines. Obviously you know about the Space Marines. But the problem is, well, a little bit more of lore about uh, Space Marines, that, you know, they're just not some dudes in armored suits. They are the toughest of the tough, the baddest of the bad. They go through this process of genetic modification and surgeries. They get like extra hearts installed. Oh, he's dead. Oh, cool. He's dead. No, he's not. I have one health. Did I, did I beat him or not? I did. Uh, I... I hope you're proud of me. I just beat a pretty serious uh, Nurgle Curtis. Ooh. Praise the Emperor. However, as Warhammer has become increasingly popular, there's been this push to have female Space Marines to be more inclusive. Now, this was not a part of the lore ever at any point, but this week it was announced that, well, not just Space Marines, but a particular 
group of space marines known as the Custodes, which are supposedly like even the baddest of the bad, who were specifically always all men, are now, uh, it's become canonical that there are female Custodes. And this has caused a bunch of controversy. Changing lore for, you know, the sake of... Uh, what, what do you even call it? The, the message... Critical Drinker had an interesting thing on it. Um, but the, the interesting thing about it is that this comes as... Can I jump on this? This will probably kill me. I'm going to save one more time. Just in case. Uh, Games Workshop got a nice uh, little... Alright, I cannot jump on moving gears. Good to know. Games Workshop got a nice little influx of ESG capital investment from everyone's favorite, BlackRock. And so this is an interesting thing, how ESG has been kind of promoted. I can't make that jump. ESG has been promoted over the years. So I'll, tell, I'll talk a little bit about that. Oh, wow, that's really nice. Pretty looking, I guess. So ESG, originally it was, oh, I forget the guy's name. Oh, I can just go up here. So forget the guy's name, he was, he was working with the UN, he came up with ESG investment. It stands for Environmental Social Governance. The idea is that companies, corporations or countries that uh, put an emphasis on environmental and social ESG, environmental and social governance goals, will over time perform better. For example, if you invest in a company that uh, is all about like dirty coal power as countries start to ban it or switch to greener technologies, that would, that would be a bad investment. Ooh, descent in the wall. Oh, a hazardous drone. Hey. You suck. Chaos Space Marines, not, they don't have anything on me. Nice. So, you know, this all sounds good. And in particular, the point was to tap into the investment power of all these American pension funds. Since pension funds are long-term investments, you need to have something the And ESG is kind of geared at long-term investment. Because the idea is like, you know, 20, 30 years, it's going to pay off. And uh, in particular, this was valuable because it gave a metric for investment. So, like, how do you measure, how do you measure what company is a good investment? It's a very valuable thing to figure out if you're a investment firm. Stop shooting me. And so this was a metro. This the cousin of this is DEI, because you know that's a very that's an easy way to measure. This guy's just I shouldn't be standing here taking this. <gasps> Whoa! So like for example with DEI, like if you if you're a company that wants investment. Uh, I don't know if I can... Oh, dear. Oh, I can. Good, this guy can jump hard. Because I'm a space marine who's got, uh... Uh, you know. Genetically enhanced. This character I'm playing could canonically be a woman. Oh, very low on health. Very low on health. Not good. My quality of gaming definitely decreases the more I speak about things. Oh, I didn't make it. <coughs> oh, that was nice. Um, so yeah, this is definitely uh, pissed off longtime fans. 
And sort of the idea that this um, particular type of investment becomes ideologically motivated. Because it's a very particular point of, uh, you know, it values diversity, equity, and inclusion. Not necessarily, I am getting slaughtered. Doesn't necessarily result in the best content, it results in, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, I did something. Hey, hey, I like. Check out this Warhammer movie camera projector. Sweet. Sweet. Uh oh. So, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. I know some of you are big Warhammer fans. I I admit, I am not too deep into the lore. Uh, Lorehammer, War Warhammer, lore. I don't know too much about it. I kind of feel like I don't have too much skin in the game, but this is an interesting thing where uh, vocal minorities are pushing to change. Oh, change game content. Okay, where am I? Okay, let's be a little more meticulous about the what. What? Oh, it's the hitbox of the gears. Alright. Oh! Forget it! Purge the heretics! Up, 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 up. Man. So, yes, talk, talk amongst you. One of the nice things about this channel, I feel, is that it gives an opportunity. Oh, I can run. Uh, opportunity for people to kind of chat and talk about these things. In the chats. Yeah, screw you, buddy. He's like uh, Javert from uh, Les Mis. I don't think I made that. I didn't make that. I didn't make that. Uh, that takes off a big chunk of health. Ah. Okay, let's carry on. Oh wow, the chat is going wild. People are talking. So yes, again, I am curious to know your thoughts about what you think. Is it a why is it a problem to have female custodies? Now, the interesting thing about it is this is So I was at I was at the gym the other day. And my gym has a special, like, female-only part of the gym. Which is interesting, because... You cannot have a male-only part of the gym anymore. And I wish you could. Especially in this day and age, where you have, like, all of the... Instagram ladies... filming themselves and I just want to work out and not have to deal with that but of course you can't have a male only place in society anymore that's that's not diverse enough or equitable enough ironically though what it means is that uh, trans women can get into those female only spaces 
So everything kind of uh, circles back. And no one can have a space of their own. Which is fantastic. Because I feel like that's what Warhammer is about. Having no escape. There is just no escape. Strafe! Strafe and shoot! Strafe and shoot! Strafe and shoot! Yeah! Did I get you? Yeah. Oh! Stop it. I have it's not female custodians. Oh, there was there was a switch I need to switch, I think. Ugh. Yeah, we are not at the point where everyone needs to be Chinese. Oh, I'm glad he's got a good jump. Definitely can't make that. Oh. Almost went over. Oh, Starscream, thanks for the five bucks. Uh oh. Uh Die! Oh man, health is low. Uh oh. Jump. Okay, that obviously did something. Nanner, of course I game in my suit and tie. I'm not a slob. But so yes, a, a point that should be made is that there are women in the Warhammer universe. Women who are fighters. There's entire, uh, what do you call them? Brigades? I don't know if that's the right word. But uh, women do have a presence in Warhammer. So it's not as if they are not represented. Oh no! What? That's cheap! Ah, oh, two health. Oh, lame. But it was a very specific call by a specific group of people that there had to be female space marines. Good health. Purification complete? Cool. She who thirsts. Yes, Chet, women do have a huge presence in Warhammer. So it is strange that it had to be this specific thing. Especially when there are lore reasons why there would not be women space marines, right? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, level complete. Okay. Difficulty low. Yes, it was very, the deep vault. You've located the Xeno storage vaults. Be careful not uh, to uh, be careful not the damage the many specimens contained within. You need not take such precautions, heretics. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Love and Probability, you got the lore name. So they're Sisters of Silence, Sisters of Battle, the Female Assassins. That's not one of Meat's many uses. That's brilliant. Like, everyone could just be replaced with Grey Goo. Uh-oh. Warp Energy. Oh, I see you. Let me get my little period right over his head in. Nice. This is a stealth game. Warhammer is a stealth game. Ow. Hey!
That's the that's the charge button. Oh, they spelled it uh, with the A way. Now it is interesting that in ancient Rome, a uh, demon was not necessarily a pejorative. In other words, not a bad thing. Hey, hey, hey! Oh no, he's got the high ground. Good thing this isn't Star Wars. All right, what's in here? Hmm, skeletons. Imagine that, skeletons in the war. I wonder what this game is like on higher difficulties. Ooh, more contempt. I wonder if there is Marxism in the Warhammer universe. I have the high ground. Alright, whatever, I'm coming down. Collecting all the health, my health is full, I don't need it. Ah, but this is a nice way to lead me to here. Which I don't have a key for. Oh, Starscream, thank you again for the five books. In Cyberton, women aren't allowed in leadership roles. Cybertron, what's that? Ryan Acorn, thank you for the ten bucks. They weren't pushing for a male sister of battle or sister of silence. It seems to be an attack on male-only spaces and or masculine exception except exceptionality diversity for me but not for the good point yeah why can't there be a male sisters of uh yeah it does seem a little uh biased but the important thing to remember is that but bi being biased is very important as long as it's being biased against the correct oppressor group as uh, Ibram X. Kendi said, the only solution for past discrimination is present discrimination. So, let's discriminate. Okay, I should be able to jump up there. Let me up. Oh, what's that? I should be able to jump up that. I'm... I'm a space marine. That looks so cool. There must be a way up there. Ah. Yes. No. Yeah, attention. Cool. I found a secret, I'm gonna save. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got numbers this way. Arrows pointing this way. Here. This looks good. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna drop down a quick save so I don't lose where I am. Ooh, Zephyr, you're right. Gina Carano, a sister of battle, would be pretty cool. Zephyr, it's been a long time. Great to... Ah, my eyes! Cool. I got that key that I needed. Wow, it's like Jupiter. All right. No! Wow, a lot more health on that guy than I imagined. Oh, they're so gross. Oh!
Ooh, look, the taint of chaos is everywhere. Let's see. I feel like something's in the back of me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I got like an upgrade to the bolt gun. Nice. Let me see if there's any. Uh... Nope, nothing on that side. Tally ho! Oh man, that really does a number on my eyes. The world is kind of icky. Martin, you're right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's just another way to go. I want to see this way. Ooh, what's that? Nice. Whoop. Whoa, a bunch of them. Do you have it? All right, checking the chat. Martin, I never had a Chinese squeeze. That is not my interest in China. I got interest in China because it's having a huge effect on the US, which is where I live. Up. Oh. oh. Nice. Very explodey. Oh, you're still alive? Nice. Whoa, it's a big boy, Plague Toad. Come on, Plague Toad. Peek your head around. All done. I mean, this is what a beautiful world. Shouldn't there be female space marines? Oh, my eyes. Chaos corruption. Whoa! Whoa, what is happening there? Quick save. Check the chat. Deviated Dave, I did beat Felvidic. And that was fantastic. I might have destroyed a, uh, a specimen, Mary. And it seems like they, they're not very destructible. 
we go. Anything up there? Nope. That's been a while, Mary. I really want to play some Fallout. Um, I have a plan for Fallout New Vegas, which I guess there was a whole thing in the Fallout TV show where they blew up New Vegas or something, some kind of Todd Howard slight to uh, the better game. Oh, cool. I got a key. Well, that's definitely where I need to go. Get a good line of sight on him. There we go. Hey. Oh, we got a bunch of doors. All right. Oh, Starscream, another five buck. Thanks. This China you speak of, do they have any Energon cubes? I don't know what that means. So what keys do I have? I don't have a key for that. I do have a key for that. And there's just stuff over here. Ow, my knees. Cool, secret. Oh, someone survived. Now they're already dead before I could chainsaw. Okay. Uh, another quick save. Ah, uh, yes, that's not one of Meat's many uses. I need my um, Transformers lore. Refresher. Whoa! Nice. I want whatever that is. There must be a way up. Stupid computers. Definitely want that. Yeah, the weird thing about Qigong uh, Titan, you mentioned about it's about destroying the hobby. The weird thing is, is, is how Warhammer began as like this tabletop uh, war game, and yet at this point, that's really not how. I don't want to say most people, but at least a good amount of people no longer interact with it in that way. I already have been this way. I've been that way, so I don't want to go back into that whole warp thing. Ooh, grenade, definitely could use that. Okay, I've gone that way. Let's go this way. Ah, good. Here's a way to go. Quick save.
It's definitely a gritty testosterone fa fantasy. Somebody shoot me? I'm just trying to read the chat. Stop shooting at me, I'm trying to read the chat. Oh, an inspiring champion, he's dead. Chaos Space Marine. Dead. All right, sorry about that chat. Uh, I've heard the Fallout show was very good. Thank you for giving me the helping hand up. Whoa, monster that way. I wanna check this out first. Oh, I already have full health. Oh, this game gives me motion sickness. Ooh. Picked up all ammo crate. Good. Starscream, thanks again for the five bucks. Since you don't know who the Transformers are, the Decepticons are the good guys. Yes, the people with deceit in their name must be the good guys. I am familiar with uh, Transformers. I have not just, I just have not watched them for a long time. Amble. All right, what do I have? Cool. Taken care of. Whoa, another one. Messing around. Ammunition. Bolt gun backup. So I came from there. I, I don't have that key. So then this is the way to go. Oh yeah, how was the Civil War movie? I've heard it's kind of meh. Oh yeah, Henry Cavill's a big Warhammer fan, apparently. What must he be thinking right now? Into the warp! Ah. Excellent. Yeah, memory. Ugh, you guys are so gross. Oh! Whoa! Well, I guess I can just go back this way. Oh! Seems to be working. You 
You see, you just gotta be tactical. This this guy's taking a lot of damage. Wow, he's taking all of my ammo. Don't worry. I'll get him in the end. Nice. So this game... Ooh, is what's known as a boomer shooter. Since it's, you know, kind of in the, the Doom style. I need to get all of my ammo back. Alright. I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to... Whoa, not load. Save. Yep. Camping sniping strategy. Oh yeah, as I was saying, I have a plan for New Vegas, which I'll stream with Man Shelley. Whenever we can all get together, which has been very hard to arrange. But... I've kind of been wanting to play Fallout 3. It's just you guys. The I'm just trying to think of what would be a good character to create for that one. Huh? This looks like it'll be something. Fallout 3 is solid from what I hear. Uh, sinister thoughts. Whoa! What did that do? That door, probably? The bolt gun is by far the best. I feel like I just need to get all of my ammo back after that sniping guy. No sprinting in Fallout 3. That's an interesting choice. If I had to do... Is this the end of the level? Nice. If I had to do Fallout 3 versus Fallout 4, what would you recommend? Now entering... Ooh, heresy lurks. A secret archive deep within the vault. This is where the fragment resides. You must reach it before the heretics and their demonic allies. I hope we're not too late. Oh, wow. The chat is overwhelmingly three. BH, I am going to do New Vegas, but that's with Man Shelley. So Fallout 3 will be just us. Oh. I guess I don't have the key anymore. More heretics. Whoa. Heretics are everywhere. Whoa, they're everywhere. Oh, my eyes are bleeding. Hi. Oh, still alive? I'm actually going to take a moment to kind of check out the chat. <laughs> New Vegas is the best from what I hear. And isn't there something where like Todd Howard didn't work on that and he's kind of salty over the fact that it's the best of them? I, I, I don't have VR, so I can't do Fallout 4 in VR. I have a computer that barely works. But it gets the jobs done. Um, I actually downloaded an interesting game called Carrion. That would be fun. Fun to play. Now, there will be a uh, live chat replay when this is up. 
So everyone will be able to see all your interesting conversations about Warhammer. And I'll have to check that out, too. I, don't, I didn't catch everything that you guys were saying. Starscream, thank you again for the five bucks. Deception means totally awesome, cool guys from space and Cybertron, same way. Oh, okay. All right, then, yeah, I guess I will believe you that um, Decepticons are the good guys and the Transformers. Halo Reach. I never played Halo 3. I downloaded the Halo games. But the problem was I have to, like, do some stupid... Uh, like, Microsoft... I have to create, like, a Microsoft account or something to be able to play it. And it's like, I don't want to give Microsoft... my. I think they were asking for my DNA... I don't want to give them all of my details just to play... What? How old is Halo now? Like, 20 years? Halo 3, anyways. Halo 1 was a lot of fun. Helldivers 2, unfortunately, I could not get to work on this computer. That was the problem. I don't necessarily have the best of machines. Stupid computers. Identification deceased. What's up here then? David White, thank you again for the five. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for the five bucks. Chris and Chat, I've been watching a Kung Fu movie watching spree, and I want to know what's my, what's your favorite? So far, mine's Thundering Mantis. Thundering Mantis was good. My personal favorite, it's called Dirty Ho. Uh, yeah, don't laugh. So Dirty Ho, it stars, um, oh, uh, Gordon Chan. Not Gordon Chang. Who am I trying to think? Qigong Tea Time. I know you know who I'm talking about because you love this movie too. Uh, I'm being double teamed on all sides. Oh, they're going to get me. Oh, my health is gone. I am in my own explosion. Oh, dear. Gordon Liu. Thank you. Not Gordon Chan. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Highly recommended. He's, uh, he, the, the main character is actually a Qing Dynasty prince, who are, and they're usually the enemies. Lots of fun. Uh... Alright, I, I think I'm probably about done with this game for tonight. I'll just kind of hang out with you for a little bit on the chat. And maybe get an early night's sleep. BH, thanks for the 10 bucks. T.O., help get a better machine. Play more unique games. Yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, that, they're letting me know that's your first Super on a live stream. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, definitely, I'm always open to more suggestions for what to stream. It always is nice to play with Matt and Shelley. I do play with a controller. And this is Chris Matthew Crestlife. Megatron for the voice actor. Yeah, wasn't that um, Orson Welles? Chugong Tea Time knows his kung fu movie, so David White, be sure to listen to him. Dirty Ho, Mad Monkey Kung Fu, that was great. Eight Diagram, Pole Fire, Fantastic, Fist of White Lotus, all great ones. I mean, obviously, uh, what's it called? The Three Nights Chamber is a special one, but I'm sure you've seen that. Uh, Dirty Ho. Love it. Highly recommend. Um, all right. My eyes. Oh, Peace from Colorado. Nice. Excuse me. Thank you, free man.
Matthew, you can't talk about China and censored stuff with your with your brother and his Chinese wife. Ah, oh, it just is. That would just be a lot of fun. Film it. Send it to me. No, that's bad advice. Don't cause disharmony in your family. The Last Dragon was your favorite kung fu movie, Irish lover? I don't know about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Warhammer Rogue Trader. I have Warhammer Vermintide, uh, which I should check out. Partial Bullet Heretic. Oh, I didn't know Game Workshop was British. Yeah, I can never entrust anything to the British. Certainly not tea. <laughs> the golden child. Irish lover, I don't know about your, your taste in kung fu films. Go watch Dirty Ho. That's, that's the best. Wait, Martin... Are you saying the voice of the brain from Pinky and the Brain was also uh, Megatron? Hemp Might, I have not really talked too much about Fallout lore yet. Because uh, I haven't played a Fallout game. But I'll do that soon. Uh, I think I definitely will play some kind of Star Wars game for May 4th. Probably Jedi Survivor. I've had that. I've been sitting on that for a while. Godzilla games that I would stream, Mark. I remember playing Godzilla game for the very first Nintendo. And I was not good at it. Um, it seemed kind of fun. I always chose Mothra. Oh, Shaolin versus Llama. Of course, Qigong Tea Time. Of course. Jack of all trades, master of none. Definitely a good one. Yeah, this is great. You know, you come, you come, you watch a Warhammer stream, learn about some politics, ESGDI, and then you also get some great Kung Fu movie picks it's you what what other channel gives you all this oh yeah save the parson's nose qigong tea time five deadly venoms quite good I, I actually found that a little at times a little grotesquely violent for my taste uh, i never played star wars old republic because that's different than the original knights of the old republic right that one was pretty good. Oh, a 420 stream tomorrow. Let me think about that. Zephyr, thank you for calling me the God Emperor. I can't wait till there's a God Empress. We, we really need a little more diversity in Warhammer. Make it more upbeat. Starscream, thank you for the $10 now. Share and grow this channel. Yes, everyone watching, please share. If you haven't seen, there was a new Deep Thoughts While Gaming released yesterday uh, about the Withering Rooms. And um, had nothing to do with Jeffrey Epstein, you know, because, well, I mean, why would I talk about something so controversial and, like, try to hide it in gaming content? That would be, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? I would never do something like that. Mark, yes, give the video a like. Give all of my videos a like. Oh, Star Wars Dark Forces. I played a little bit of that way back in the day. I think I think that is out on Steam. That was a great Star Wars shooter. Um, but, I mean, I know I already have Star Wars Jedi Survivor, whatever it's called. I didn't mean to get back to that. That one's kind of fun. Yeah, it was like all right. Yeah, they did remaster Dark Forces. That is what's happened. That that is what happened. I 
they do something to the Horus Heresy. Kung Fu Hustle is great. Personally, I prefer Shaolin Soccer to Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, Hemp Mine, Jeffrey Epstein with his own vault and fallout. Yeah. I never played Battlefront. I don't think it was on the PS2. I thought it was an Xbox only game at the time. Gropson. Yeah. I did. Well, if you're interested in seeing me play Star Wars, May 4th, I'll celebrate May the 4th. With, with definitely a Star Wars game. Cartoons and comic studios. You, you're a fan since the spider Chinese tank. I don't remember what that was. I've done a lot for the shows over the years. I, I don't even remember everything. Mm, Star Wars Empire at War. Sounds interesting. Real-time strategies never really were my forte. I think I never had the patience for it. I liked, the game I liked as a kid was Dynasty Warriors. You just run around, the big guy with an axe, press X, bunch. Fun time for all. Uh, does 40, does Warhammer really have as much lore as China and Censored Qigong Tea Time? I don't know. Red Alert 2. I should I should look into that. I wonder is that on Steam? I mean there's Yeah, there's there's good reasons why I should play that. I'm just not great at though at real-time strategies. I would love to play B Bloodborne. Actually, I've had a real hankering for Dark Souls, the first one playing that one again. It's been a while since the Dynasty Warriors stream, it's true. What would be a good 420 game to stream? Yeah, going to Scarborough Shoal, that was definitely a wild time. Oh, the Spider Tank video is from 2014? Wow, you guys. You guys are great. You've been watching forever. For Honor is the modern version of Dynasty Warriors. Interesting. Let me try. Robson, yeah, I definitely will be playing Fallout. Fallout 3, apparently. Call of Duty released a Cheech and Chong DLC, really? Why would Far Cry 3 be a good 420 stream? Oh, because you burn weed crops. That seems not really in the spirit of the day. Oh, wow, David White, that was an old video, the pop stars. Yeah, wandering and wondering. Uh, that That's the, the kind of pressure I'm feeling with Fallout. Like, I need to create a great character, and... Not many characters are, like, I nailed it with Pancreas King and Chad Jossum. Who's my character in, I have a character for New Vegas, but who's my character in Fallout 3? Heart of Irons 4. I actually have a deep thoughts while gaming kicking around in the back of my head about Heart of Iron 4, about the rise of nation states. Ah, Shannon, I like to see those Pancreas King exclusive emojis for everyone who joins the channel. Starscream, thank you again for the five bucks. You ask, how good or bad is Chinese AI? Should we be concerned? That's a good question. Um, and this is the thing with any kind of Chinese uh, tech, is that, you know, there are people who are just who will just dismiss it and be like, ah, oh, it's made in China, it's crap. And then there are people who will be like, oh, they, 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 they're going to screw us. We have no hope. Um, so probably the reality is somewhere in between there. Uh, the thing with Chinese AI is that they have no data privacy laws. So like Google will go over there and 
work with them, and so they could be they could be moving pretty fast on AI. Oh, uh, Clint Eastwood meet Mad Max. I like that idea as a character. Make a little note of that. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions for Fallout 3 characters. Definitely appreciate that. Bioshock. Never actually played that. It seems like a fun one. Bioshock. Is Bioshock a good 420 game? I feel like there's probably something obvious. I feel like when I when I when I when I see it, I'll be like, ah, yes, that's the one to do on 420. And I would, I would not be high. That's not my thing. The power-ups are drugs. I, I mean, I guess Mario. Jack Burton. Nathan, so you work in the AI field. And everyone's an accelerationist, and no one knows where it's going. Oh, that's encouraging that you think China's just as behind as we are. There's no way there's a game called Weedcraft, Inc. There is a game called Weedcraft, Inc. That's interesting. What kind of a game is it? I mean, there's obvious reasons why. That would make sense on 420. Hmm. Oh, distorted noise. You're also in the deep learning engineer. Uh, that's good. You guys are making me feel better about uh, China's AI advancement. Yes. All right, I'll give it some thought. Who knows? I might not even be able to stream tomorrow. There could be... China could declare war on Taiwan. For all I know. And then I'd have a lot on my hands. I don't think that will happen. Hopefully not. All right. Well, I think it's time for my bed. Got to get my beauty sleep. So thank you so much for joining tonight. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to talk about Warhammer and these things. Um, sorry, I got a work text. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. A lot of stuff going on. Always nice to chat. Really appreciate everyone who gave a super thanks or a super chat, whatever YouTube calls them. It, it's a big help to the show. If you're watching and you like the deep thoughts while gaming and these streams, please consider hitting that join button. You'll get exclusive emojis like the people in the chat are using right now. Raw pancreas is one of the emojis. It's great. I also get some exclusive live streams and videos. And it's, it's good. It's good. Helps the channel plenty. Uh, Nathan, yeah, great use of all of the, the, the emojis. And the more members I get to join the channel, YouTube will allow me to create more and new emojis and things. It, like The more I have, the more uh, features YouTube give me. It gives me to play with. So, well, there should be a Chris Space Marine emoji. I'm going to make a note of that. Debbie, can your mom join? Of course, if she wants to. I would welcome your mom.
Oh, who knows? Maybe 420 is Fallout 3. Dr. Plow, it is bedtime. Definitely, definitely bedtime. All right, yes, I will hit that stop streaming. Thank you again for every... Oh, yeah. Th that's three for tea. Thank you. Uh, oh. You, the, the mouse cursor is, uh, is... What do you call it? Uh, Space Marine's hand. This game was great. Awesome. All right. Remember, destroy the heretics. Good night, everyone.